All right, for a reaction, let's bring in David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group. It's always great to see you. We thank you for being here. Um, he is talking about sort of his economic agenda from 2016. He's bringing that playbook back, and he's added some other things to it. I understand, and I think I know what you're going to say when we talk about no tax on tips and overtime here. How are we going to pay for that? But nobody is questioning Kamala Harris and how she's going to pay for giving $25,000 credits to uh, new home buyers um, and some of her other proposals, her giveaways as well. So here we are in a situation. Are they trying to outdo each other with things like this? Uh, yes, they certainly are. I'm just waiting for them to say the next tax break will be anyone who can show you voted for me. I'm going to give you a tax break because <laughs> we're really that close to it. Um, my criticism is not that they can't pay for it. I can pay for it by cutting spending. So that right. part doesn't bother me. Um, what bothers me is that we as conservatives have traditionally believed in lower broad based mm. tax cuts. In this case, all you're doing is begging for people to manipulate the tax code, mm. to change salaried people to hourly so then a big portion of the income can be moved down. There's no possibility this ever becomes law. And so I'm not critical of President Trump's instinct to want to give money back to workers. I believe people are overtaxed. I want lower taxes. Yeah. I'm critical of the fact that this is done as a pandering mechanism. I expect to come out next week and say she supports it. Right. Um, this this tit for tat. But we were very critical of Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness for what it was trying to do. I see this as a cousin to that. Uh, but uh, I don't know about that. Let me push back. OK, so on the cousin piece of it, I mean, what Trump is saying is if you work overtime, keep more of your own money. The student loan thing was take money from these guys and give it to these guys. Oh, no, it's different. That's a very different. It's relationship. different. I'm saying the motivation but, is the same. OK, but let me ask you this, because you talk about conservative principles and I'm with you on that. But another conservative principle is don't punish harder work. Don't That's punish right. working longer. What Trump was saying here is if you work longer hours, if you put your you know, elbow, you really get into this. Keep more of your own money. Like, work overtime, keep more of your That sounds conservative. Right, there's a very easy way to do it. Lower tax rates. Yeah. You lower but tax he's, rates. He's saying lower them all the way to zero. Okay, but what, you can't lower to zero and fund government. So no one really believes that. What well, I'm saying is when someone works overtime, they get paid extra. So the taxes on the income, you get more comp because you worked more hours. Right. So I have no problem with people getting paid more when they work more. That, that's the overtime And he's principle. saying pay him even more by cutting the taxes. But what I'm zero. saying is it is incentivizing behavior mm. that we have traditionally as conservatives been against mm. because it calls for manipulation of the tax code. But Broad-based, simple tax policy. Two things he does want to do. He wants to bring the corporate tax rate down to 15% to stimulate businesses. Right. Remember, businesses do make profits, but they also employ people and they pay their health benefits and all of these other things. Um, he is also talking about extending or making permanent the Trump tax cuts that they want to let expire. So that's, that's right. one way to help offset that $1,100 that Madison was talking about. I totally I agree. I want to talk about some of that $1,100. We got some of the inflation data this week. Yes, people would say that the rate of price increases is slowing, but prices are still up 19, 20, 21 percent in the last four years. Consumer debt is also hitting records. Can you look at voters and say we are better off now than we were four years ago, especially when you're looking at everything on an inflation adjusted basis? Middle class earners? No. You cannot. They're not better off than we were four years ago. Uh, wages have grown as well, but they haven't grown the way you want them to. Uh, very candidly, asset owners like myself are better off because this entire economy has been great for people who own assets. The issue is workers, and I care about this, and I don't care about it because I want their votes. I'm not running for office. I care about them because they're human beings made in the image of God. And this is not right for their prices to go up more than their wages. But I don't believe tariffs, and I don't believe manipulating the tax code are the way to do it. I think that um, there is a sensible tax policy that will help drive a better outcome. You know, the only thing I really disagree with there is I think David Bonson should run for office. Well, <laughs> that would well, be good. But I think the point that you're making is important about you can manipulate the tax code and, and try to do all these things. But also she, when she gets up to the podium, is manipulating the voter when she lies or twists or distorts her economic policies or doesn't give them clarity. Because what you're going to get is more of the same that we got the last three and a half years. And that working person, she keeps saying, I'm going to help you. And she's hurting that person. And, and Jack, you know, I fully agree with you. It's hard for me because I can't do a both sides thing. Like I, I disagree with what she's doing. Right. And yet that doesn't make me agree with this part of his 
policy. I agree with lowering the business tax rate. If it was politically doable, which it's not, uh, I'd favor a 0% corporate tax rate. That money's already being taxed when it gets paid out as wages. Right. So I, I think the corporate tax rate itself is a bad idea. 15 is the best they're going to get in terms of global competitiveness. But President Trump's right to push for 21 down to 15 mm. to support that. Wow. Okay. We'll leave it there. David, thank awesome. you. Thanks, Great David. To see you. Good to see you.